Welcome back. This is the intake, and I'm Mike. And this is Sunday Morning Model Cars and Coffee, created by Paul at Left Coast Model Car Builds. Check it out. Check out Paul. Check out his channel. Great channel. This is really taking off. There's a lot of people doing these videos. I love it. It's a great way to spend your Sunday morning. I'm not going to talk too long here because I made the showed you my build and it went on quite a while so sorry about that in advance let me turn you around and get to it okay so this is the Lindbergh 63 1963 Mustang 2 concept car prototype <clears throat> um cool kit mine was a 1995 issue it um it was a little let me move this out of the way here. It was a little warped and I was pretty new to modeling. Um so I had a hard time keeping it straight, but it worked out. It came it came out pretty straight. Everything moves on this thing. It's pretty cool actually. Um I think it came out pretty decent for my skill level at the time. I wasn't flocking. Uh, I wasn't using any kind of chrome. No bare metal foil, no chrome pens at the time. Didn't know about those. Um, I did get the white letters, and I always thought those were cool. And the box didn't have it. Um, I was really proud of this one at the time. This is the little Mustang II symbol. So you, the Mustang II's of the 70s, there's where you got that. This was already in progress back in 1963. It's amazing. But um, show you the engine. I put the tri-power on there. It's a 289 with the tri-power. Pretty cool. A lot of glitz and glamour on this one. Uh, I did that little pattern under the hood because I was trying to make it like a super show car. Um, the same with the trunk. I did it because of the trunk had the um, had that pattern in it already. So I kind of tried to simulate it. And under the hood. Um, let me tilt it up for you. That's a hat in the back. I came with it. This was like the beginning of my really detailing that the seats move. So if you're wondering about that, everything moves on this thing. Like I said, the seats, the doors. Uh, oh, bumping the camera, sorry. So if you turn, if you turn the wheels, the steering wheel actually functions. Pretty cool. Pretty cool kit. This was. So everything ended up working pretty well, except for like this door, because the car was a little twisted. This door, if you can see it right there, it doesn't like to sit right. So somebody mentioned magnets. So I did do the magnets in there, and that really helped it out. Keeps it closed, otherwise it would just pop open. So if you ever have that problem, there you go. But you can see how, look at how it's, not shaped right. Oh, here's the underneath side. All came chrome, chrome tips, pretty cool tips. I thought that was back then. And the exhaust goes in there and then comes out the roll pan. Pretty sharp. I think it's a sharp kit. Um, I don't know if that is on there. It, it calls it a level three build. I don't know, man. It was um, it was a challenge for me at the time. This hood is another thing that it doesn't really. I mean, I get it down, but there, it's very because the car is a little twisted. It really has a hard time. I think it's a cool build. I couldn't wait to get it. I actually have the Cougar. There's a Cougar just like this concept car prototype. That I really want to build too. Um, 
Same thing. Everything opens and closes. And I don't know. I just think this is a cool looking car. Obviously, you can see why time they have 64 and a half came out. How much they made it more of a more of a less styling. They took some of the styling out of it. Don't get me wrong. I love the 64 and a half. That one I built. I think I just enjoy looking at it. So, but you can see where they started with the front end and the fancy lights and the, the guy's vision, whoever's vision it was. And they put the bumpers on it and the tail lights were more simplified. They weren't part of the roll pan. A lot of things like that. But personally, I, I think it's a really cool car. Um, it's a cool kit. Hopefully the new the repops are straight and a little easier to build. I may get one. Try it again. Uh, it has cool decals, but what happened was I was limited to rattle can and um, color as close as I get to the color, and it did not match the pinstripe the had the single stripe going all the way through even up here and out the back which is really cool it has uh, multiple tops which never seemed to be i could probably make them work but i never got back to it making them work it has a, a i think it's a, a fastback looking top and a square notchback top they're still in the box i could probably get them out let me see if I got them here. Real quick. Show you. Yeah. Okay, so. Now you gotta remember this was way back when. Prototyping. So. I never. I painted them, but I never put them together. So here's your different versions you could do. Kind of cool. And then. Uh. Here they had this top too. Cool stuff. I mean, that one sits pretty nice on there. I just never, I don't know why I never went back to it. I love this car. I think it's a cool car. I thought they were so unusual. Well, thanks everybody. I don't want to keep you too long. I'm rambling on again. I'm getting caught on those squirrels. Uh, enjoy your Sunday. Thanks to Paul. Model Cars and Coffee, the creator. Left Coast Model Car Builds. Thanks to all my subscribers. You take care.